Hey YouTube, this is Abdel Carfix. I'm talking today about those uh, oil cooler. As you see, there's two of them here. Last week I did two, one a Chrysler and one Jeep. Those oil coolers under the intake manifold, it takes about anywhere between two to five hours. Depends what kind of car it is. Jeep's a little harder because you have to climb up and sometimes the intake a little, little bit, kind of a bunch of stuff in the way. It's not as easy as the Dodge and, and the Chrysler uh, vans. The minivans are easy and the Chrysler 200. Um, the reason why those fail in most cases, I would say, is because over torquing the oil filter housing, when they over torque this, this will happen. This moves, moves and then all these seals get, get busted. That's exactly what happened with those. Those two vehicles had an oil change a couple of days before they had the leak. Five, uh, last year I have five cars came to me. Some of them, actually two of them had an oil uh, change at one of those fast loop places. And that's what most of the problem happened. These fast loop places, they're not, they're technicians, they're, they're not experienced mechanics where they know this situation, those issue. A lot of them didn't know this is a big problem with, with the Dodge, Jeep, and Chrysler vehicles, 3.6 engines. They're all 3.6 have the same issue. So this is why uh, they failed. Over torquing the cap, the oil filter cap. So I recommend if you do your oil changes, do not over torque it. Just be gentle and just snug it just enough for the cap to seat. Or if you take it to one of those fast tube places, tell them right there, please do not over torque my oil filter cap um, because a lot of them are not aware of that or maybe some aware of that but they forget okay uh, just snug it gently and you'll never have the leak and this guy right here on this one is from uh, a Dodge this guy was doing his oil changes and he has 200,000 uh, 240,000 miles on his Dodge he was doing his oil changes. Recently, he got older. He said, it's hard for me to go down the ground and do it. So I took it to uh, Valvoline a couple of weeks ago. And a couple of days, uh, two days after that, his cooler leaked all the oil. Uh, dumped all the oil in the vehicle. So again, this is my advice for the day. Those coolers. Be very careful when you torque them. If you take your car somewhere, tell them not to torque them. Too hard. Thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe. I know when I'm never going to reach the million subscribers or half million or even 100,000 or maybe 50,000, not even 10,000. But I like subscription to my channel. This way I feel like uh, I feel good about making these videos. I'm going to keep making these videos regardless whether I get subscribers or not just to help people as much as I can with the info I have and the experience uh, of working on cars and having a shop. Thank you, have a good day.